Hello and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. There's our brand new oil train just pulling in. Full of oil, thankfully. It is uh, refined oil about to be taken by the purple trucks down to our plastics factory. And it's got 300. There it all goes. Good night. Yeah, it's 324 on there. Our trucks have been patiently waiting our big boy, I was going to say our big boy over there, the concertina one, but can't see it. But we'll take a look in a minute. What are we doing today? Monitoring this situation. I would love to get uh, Phoenix past it. It's a bit of a hurdle, isn't it? It has got itself into a bit of a hole. Today, I think we'll see some progress and possibly a decent amount of growth as well. All right, UI is up, and, uh, oh, really? Is that all you were waiting on? Yes, there we go. Uh, we've got new wagons, haven't we, on our uh, big boy now. He has, oh, what's happened there? Oh, because he was squished. He didn't flip correctly. That's fine. Uh, we'll get a better idea with uh, big boy Ben when he comes in. We should be carrying... A, a decent amount we've got half a kilometer trains now our big boys they may get longer if we can work it out it's this situation that would need to be worked on i would like to this actually brings me to a good story you guys have got for why our bridge right over near palmdale and that's because there's a preservation order attached to it so we can't destroy it but there was an idea in the comments to build a bridge next to it so that we can get traffic moving through there. So we'll be doing that today, I think, because it'll help what the situation we've got going on up there. This one, fast track, no catenary, definitely going for the fastest bridge we've got. Not pretty. Doesn't really work, does it? We'll wait until we get the concrete ones and we might... Uh, redo the bridge but anyway there we go we're only limited to 112 now as opposed to 56 no such preservation order for this <laughs> these arches i don't know why they couldn't pull it off in court perhaps that should speed up everything running down here or it will speed up everything it does need to be one way and uh, hopefully we can see that, that the bridge isn't obstructing our signal there. No, and it's on the curve goes that way, so plenty of visibility. Right, that's that done. We should catch up with our main services running down the eastern corridor. As far as this is concerned, and this one's key, although it will be changing, it won't be reliant on this central line the eastern line no it won't be reliant on the big boy for much longer we've already got a big chunk haven't we of our plastic seen to there we've got 252 for plastic and steel we've got plenty of room in our freight station and uh we're never going to fill up on that there you go we're taking some goods we're taking construction materials as well our convoy of trucks are a little bit faster down here. And, or are they? They carry a bit more. They're not faster, are they? No. They do carry more, though. And uh, that will mean our uh, production of plastic. I don't like that it possibly might fill that. Yeah, it's a bit close. Do you know what we might be able to do here? Just to squeeze in a little extra storage is stick one on that end one on that end lovely and then a couple of cargo buildings and I, that would make me a little more relaxed about that situation we should have bags of room now there we go good night yes plenty plenty i didn't want any of our plastic to go to waste that would have been awful given the situation we're in we won't see anything happening to uh phoenix just yet it's still going to be on the brink of uh, shrinking 
but it has gone a little bit higher than it has been. Our population in 1950, 340. Our previous best was 1948 with 335. So we gained an extra five people. It was asked if we could have a headquarters. I haven't put it down, have I? No, I haven't. There we go. That's pleasant. That's nice. Anyway, guys, we've got a headquarters. Do, do you want to see any stats? Uh, probably not much to look at. Lots of road vehicles. Top speed, 112 miles per hour. Top length rail. Yeah, there we go. They're a brand new train. The longest train we've got. Oldest vehicle. 31 years. Not really that amazing. I've known of older company vehicles going around in my time. Right, how are we doing up here? Well, that's different, isn't it? We are loading and waiting. That's not normally how that happens. I kind of like that, providing we don't have our other oil train anywhere close, do we? Do we? Are we close? We're not. We are lacking. I believe a little bit with our trucks. Probably don't need too many, but I would like to not. Oh, we're off. I would like to not be behind. 242, 229. There we go. Yeah, I'd rather our trucks be ahead of our train. Or trains now, isn't it? It's not just a single train. But that's already underway. I love that. But I did promise we'll do something with this situation. Now, how does it sit currently? We could have a second bridge, couldn't we? Run parallel with it, which is the idea you guys had down in the comments. And it has happened already on my Swiss series where it happens in real life. There's a, there's a, uh, a place on the Swiss map where there are two bridges side by side, one new, one older. And then it will look like I'm destroying the bridge, but I'd like it to run super parallel. So what I'm going to do is have it a few track lengths away, closer to how it would be, right? Because you need the building room. The historical society might not actually want us to get too close to the original bridge. I guess you've got to think about the foundations as well. But we know that should be perfect now, shouldn't it? It should be perfectly flat. Well, it will be once we <laughs> make it flat. Perfectly flat, perfectly parallel. And what we do instead now is we have that one like that running next to it. And uh, we'll cap you off there and then we'll send off the other one the other way. And we should be good and sit just on that bit I flattened out. Hopefully that was the plan anyway. Yeah, it almost went flat itself. So there we go. There we go. It's a little bit different, isn't it? But I like it. I like this idea. Yeah, and then we're not touching that bridge at all. We've got uh, a new faster track and everything. How we work this into this junction could be interesting. Because this one shouldn't be connected any longer. We are going to probably cheese off every train we've got. As long as we don't touch the bridge, it'll be fine. Oh, look, I was painting underneath it. That's cool. Yeah, this just needs to run a little uh, different from this corner. And we'll do it with new track as well. It's been uh, completely reworked. Uh, how far back do I want to go? I guess from that bridge would be lovely. Let's draw it out and see what uh, the game says as far as a curve goes. Dead. It's, it doesn't know. I mean, I understand why it does it, but I don't like it. It drifts out to drift in again to maintain speed, doesn't it? 103, that is fine. Yeah, and this one, this one actually drifts out then, doesn't it? Up to that point there. There we go. Then what we do in round here, I guess we can tidy all of that up now. We'll do it with faster track. It won't be perfect by any means. It's not going to be ultra fast either. 
given that the what's that southbound track is still going to be slow at 56 if we find 56 then we're good aren't we and then we can slow the other one down as well on purpose yeah that would be lovely as long as this is nice i think that's pleasant enough isn't it yes this one doesn't have to be 56 but it does need to connect with our other track i would prefer it to be 56 though ideally and then we'll curve back in at 56. We've got 61 there. As long as the bit where we reconnect, there we go. Right, you missed everything that you were trying to do. Stick you in there. Now, how do we get into this yard? <laughs> That's the question. We've got to cross traffic regardless. 54? Well, that's actually... If we do 45, that's still pretty nippy. There we go, 46. Now, do you connect in? <laughs> Not like that, you don't. Yeah, we're going to have to get rid of all of this, aren't we? That sees to everything, doesn't it? And then this comes in. We'll keep you like that. We do have some more upgraded track, though. Do we uh, retrack the bridge? Would it let us? There we go. It's, I mean, it's a simple case of doing that, isn't it? We retract the bridge without touching it. And we've got uh, a whole lot of shenanigans going on now. This would be... This would be one that way. And then two is that way. And then three is straight on. So three. Three head signal. I like it. Right on the edge of the bridge there. Bit precarious, perhaps. We could have a couple of signals up this end. Well, we'll need more than a couple, won't we? Yeah, we need one protecting... I guess we could have it back here. One protecting that way. One blocking and releasing that way. Yeah, then we'll stick that, uh, that same situation we had before over here. So that would be the cantilever. Is that where it would be? I think so, wouldn't it? These need to be two-way, otherwise problems will be had. There and there. Assets. Track. And where's our, our little reachy, reachy over thing? Sit on there. It's lovely. There we go, guys. So that's all back in, like we never did a thing. And uh, there, we've got a couple of blocking signals there, so that's nice. We've got the, the directional signal just there. And we'll need a releasing signal, I guess, somewhere down here. There's a lot less waiting going to be involved, isn't there? One here and one there. Can I hit play? Let's just check. I don't see any issues. There we go. Oh, that's lovely. Hopefully it hasn't messed up our oil trains for the billionth time. Should we get some gravel or some dirt down here? Or maybe some... Uh... Do we have forest ground? That one looks kind of nice. Because it's kind of dirt. As well as cut grass. And it. we've just worked on this, so... Sure, we can say it's... It's been tidied up. What's going on there? Are we dug in the ground? We'll tidy that up. A little bit of official episode. Oh, we can hit... We have hit play. Good stuff. Yeah, it needs a little bit of tidying up, doesn't it? In places. Probably just a little bit of official episode. There we go. That's uh, tidier. Now, official episode that. And we should have it kind of beautiful. Yeah, let's flatten you out. Get you around the side there. And we'll smooth you off. Is that the other oil train? Please tell me that's not the one that was full. No, that's Barry. <laughs> Hi, Barry. Yeah, these guys can uh, get the new wagons on them too, can't they? Uh, not yet, though. They're fine. They're doing all right, aren't they? We will upgrade them, but I don't see any point in upgrading everything all at once. It's not really how it would happen with a fleet. 
Unless you, I guess, unless you've got nearly three billion in the bank, and then it possibly would. You'd just pull everything in. Although that may cheese off some customers, as we are like, we've got no trains out because they're all in, all in getting a refit. Yeah, they won't be happy. Is that that is? Please be the empty one. Is this the? Well, we can see finances. Yeah, this is the one we've had running for uh, since we created the line. You can see we're starting to really pick up there, aren't we, with our finances? And you're coming around now. Our other one's only just left. There goes that coal train as well. well. It's quite busy out here, isn't it? But not too busy. And we're just going to be waiting up here now. Unfortunately, on the bridge. Would we wait before the bridge to do this? I mean, that wouldn't be an, an issue. We can have the signal back there. I like it. Yeah, so he's going to pass straight yeah onto the original original bridge and then our oil train might barely slow down other than to cross the bridge he's waiting for a free path but we've got our there he goes in the thing yeah but he's he's got uh realistic braking enabled so he should just crawl up are we gonna go we're going we're going just like that it's beautiful yeah, I like that. We'll close that. So we've just got the sound of the the train there. He's picking up speed. He's going for it. They only do about 40-something. I still feel it's fast. Oh, but that's nice, isn't it? Going across there. Yeah. And there's the caboose. Last one to uh, cross the junction. And you're in. And you're out the way. Just like that. And how much you got waiting for you? Nowhere near enough. But it should space out our trains. I don't think they're fully spaced out at the moment. This is going to push plastic production. Probably close to our steel production. Yeah, what I'd like to do is now we've got a rough idea of what's happening. They get a new station. Probably when the new station's unlocked so that we can upgrade everything. And then that way we can uh, add... A freight drop off the other side so we we can start to tidy up the way our trains work we might even be able to split passenger stations to either side surrounded by freight but we'll see they're both terminus services aren't they yeah they both terminate here so we might be able to have them facing each other I've got some ideas there I don't want to do it today though we've got to keep an eye on uh, whether our big boy is gonna leave or not he should do we were storing quite a bit which is nice look at that 1000 oil already don't know what our line rate's going to be at all once this has done a few runs we will know do you like our new bridge and we've sped up this bridge as well well this uh, eastern corridor just by upgrading the bridge itself all right more oil We've not even got rid of it there. Well, I think it's a case of... Uh, or is it? They might be spreading themselves out. That might be a bit of a knee-jerk reaction. Uh, it's got rid of most of it. And it stores a whole load as well. What are we What are we saying here? 140. Oh, you might be right. We might need a couple more trucks. I'm going to do it. I mean, we can always remove them again. If we've got too many. And we'll flip these ones because they won't turn around here. They will be both heading to the plastics factory, won't they? Yes. Uh, although, do you know, that's possibly not a bad idea because I think we've always got more plastic down this end. I stand corrected. Yes, I stand corrected. We do not want to be heading down there. Although we're, yeah, we're making a bunch. We possibly do have the uh yeah you you two go there goes the the passenger train now it's got a hundred people on board the line rate for that the throughput has gone up as well quite a bit now we're up to six carriages now as well so uh, not even a full train they might not be spread out though there is that side to it um as long as he's not down here this is another train we can eventually rebuild it will get some love 
Although that's that's pretty much doing its thing, isn't it? It's keeping up. Not with the logs, but with everything else. Oh dear, look at our pink party buses. They are destroyed. How old are you guys? I think we can do something about that. We don't have any new buses yet. Passengers, no. But there we go. Rather than stick the maintenance up, let's refresh them. Probably newer trucks. Well, we could just replace those as well. I mean, that's not an issue, is it? Which ones were they? They would have been these, wouldn't they? The Opal Blitz. Yeah, they are. There we go. There we go, guys. You've got some uh, newer trucks on there. Slightly less noise pollution. Shall we go and check on the state of play? I thought that was big boy Ben on the way up the Eastern Corridor. It isn't. It's train 18. Who is our oil train? Where's Boxcar Joe? We have a winner for the name of Boxcar Joe. Uh, is that Boxcar Joe? No, that's, uh, that's another of our big boys heading down there. Why are you looking? I looked at two trains. Both have flat cars on. For boxcar joe i mean the clues in the name what <laughs> why did i do that he does head this way though doesn't he who is that is that the one that's heading down to Ch uh chesapeake it, yeah it is goodness me i wonder if you're doing your loop are you doing your loop i mean as scenic as it is you are not i like looking for them i know i don't have to oh you're waiting to get into the station yeah because things are a little different here and a little bit uh, upset perhaps did we yeah we up to the throughput there you're still waiting though aren't you this isn't pleasant you have held up all of our passenger services perhaps we need to uh, five track that or just get rid of it as a tunnel and have them branch off so our freight can wait to get in there separately but anyway boxcar Joe. That's not his name. There we go. <laughs> I don't know. I liked that. It made me giggle. Uh, that's not his name. Uh, yeah, this is this is rough. This is a, another situation we need to address. Is it a fuel? It won't be a fuel thing. We can already see that we're not taking enough construction materials. Which could be accurate because are we are we doing it from let's see suppliers? We're asking most of it from Palmdale. Perhaps we shouldn't wait here until fall then. Might be the plan of plan of the day. We are producing. We are waiting. We can't go any faster than that. Let's manage the line. Let's get the wait time. How long do you think? I don't think maximum. It's too long. Maybe a maximum of five minutes? Because we do want it to load something, don't we? Maybe maybe less than that, actually. Maybe three minutes. Three minutes seems to work. <laughs> there he goes. He's off. I mean, he's full load any. Isn't he? Yeah, full load any. Uh, so I think a maximum wait time given how we want the frequency of these because because they're in a chain that might be part of the I've just realized guys that might be part of the reason we're not taking enough of these logs because we were obviously sat here but we're holding up look at all the trains we're holding up every train on the map this is maybe maybe another part of the uh, issue that we had yeah because we've got the coal train and the iron train the the western corridor oil trains also head down this way as well as our other oil trains do they come back this way they do don't they it's the only way to come back that might have been it that might have been the problem on top of everything else i mean we didn't have the throughput but uh yeah, that's tidier. You're not going to be waiting for long. Well, maximum of three minutes. Because you, you're just supposed to be dropping off some goods and some food, which would, given how that's working, is going to hamper Palmdale as well, isn't it? Yeah. 
Yeah, these are the old boxcars, but we've just built this train. We just bought it. We're not going to get rid of the uh, the cars on the back. Our, uh, we're going to have a bit of a queue with our passenger services now as they flip. But I, I feel like that has been addressed. Yeah, there we go. We're all starting to make our way through. Who's next? It's another passenger service. We do have this little bit up here. And these are quite short. Do we have another signal up that end? Yeah, we do. So we have a bit up there. We could maybe sit across the crossing. I don't like it. But we do have the room. We could possibly sit before the crossing. Maybe. Maybe. See, that was the crossing whistleboard, which is why he didn't make a noise. There goes Boxcar Joe. That's not his name. We've got the stone trains are not affected by this. Uh, we are waiting for him to head up the, the spur. I like the uneven ground here. See, I won't flatten it all out. I will have some variety in our scenery. Yeah, you are going to wait because... Oh, both, all three. Is that all three passenger trains? There we go. Yes, it's allowed our, our coal train to head back. It's so busy, aren't you? What are you waiting for? Are you slowing down? Who are you waiting for? Passenger train grand. You saw it leaving the station. And uh, here we go. Bell's going, but you're off because he's quite quick. I love it. We got things moving. I love that. When you get a snarl up like that and you figure out what's going on and then things just start moving and you know it's not going to happen again, it, it makes me happy. It's one of the, the main things I like about these types of games. Enough room there. There's plenty of room. We're going to have to be careful about the length of these, aren't we? Do we have a train that actually heads up that way? We do not care. We might need to lengthen the slip track. Slip road, I was going to say. Uh, this, it'll be some sort of a siding, wouldn't it, going into the station. Yeah, because none of our trains actually turn around up here. I mean, it would be easy to... Uh, to change this wouldn't it and add another track but I I feel like that's a bit of a cop out I would like to work it in with our existing layout this on the other hand we no longer use this for freight perhaps two platforms for passenger trains given we have two services stopping here and maybe a third later on from uh, who we got up here Providence yeah well, there's an entire possibility that Providence could have a train come down. This is just not necessary now, is it? Guys, we're doing it at the risk of breaking these. I don't think it's going to be an issue. Because... Once we've rebuilt it... <laughs> how many times do I need to delete that? Once we've rebuilt it, it's done. It's going to have to be from here, isn't it? We're going to have to go all the way up so we're gonna to have to delete those back all the way back there we have to get back on to this track from wherever we do this so it's gonna be staggered isn't it and it's got to slide into there yeah which is is kind of tight anyway so we might have to send that back we'll leave it as a platform this is gonna to have to go as well isn't it we need a bit more room I would like to keep that one like that. We don't need to stagger them then. Platforms. That is going that way. We'll leave the platforms over the junction. So there's a bit going on, a bit happening there. But we're going to need to... Uh, there's no longer a siding this side. It's gone, guys. I hope we've got the, the room to redo this. Yeah, this wasn't planned today, but I didn't realise we had such an issue. That's a bit close to that signal, but it might be doable. I don't know why I'm not doing it with the newer track. Oh, look at it, connected. That's fine, we'll upgrade the track. Uh, that can't be track. No, it's actually going to pull up a little further because we need to get our trains 
over there. We might as well go with that. Do we have enough room? Well, that signal won't be there, will it? No. And we don't want it hurtling in anyway. There we go. Yeah, I like that. Now, if we uh, get it all high speed, we've got some more more track updated, upgraded. And we'll have all this high speed down here as well. We'll do the one next to it. So it looks like we've been working on it a little bit. On one side, the northbound section of track. Yeah, there we go. So all of that needs to be... Have you changed platforms? That's Don't do that. Well, we could do it up to there. Up to there, couldn't we? Yeah. I don't want to spend episodes doing that. We need now some connections I don't want you stopping on there we're going to have to definitely fix all of that we should have the room what how would we want these a couple of couple of these yeah I, I sort of like that just over the top of the track there if they align kind of nicely which they do then we can have a bit of scenery here since I'm setting this up a little differently than I normally do I kind of like it providing you actually sit with the signals there we go I sort of like that that's cute yes right we're not done we need our our buildings back in don't we this is the passenger entrance could does that mean we can get a bigger one oh it's so close we could if we have it up there or down here perhaps but uh, it's a bit of a squeeze isn't it and that one's too far away well i kind of like the idea that that one fits and then then we can maybe make this a little bigger like that so they've got a new station building for new passenger upgrades i sort of like it i still want to put some uh some storage in for our cargo as well and that has to connect to this which i believe that just did which is impressive oh that one does anyway guys it's like it was meant to be and we've even got room for a little ramp down at the end there perhaps down at the other end as well why not why not that could be where our mail goes i know there is no mail but uh yeah what are you doing you have fallen down a hole. Hey, I'm impressed with this. This new station layout. That was random. It had to be done, though. Right, smooth you off so you're not terrible. Lots of official episode, which makes everything better. Usually. Bit of paint and some tarmac. Uh, is it that one? I think it is brand new area out front i mean we could have left the grass there not sure what that person's doing oh no what have you done there bit of deleting needs to be done i don't mind it there um, yes this whole section could actually head into there couldn't it like that that's tidier yeah more official episode here we go. It's all a bit different now, isn't it? I think we cover all bases. Yes, we could branch off sooner. Well, I mean, not a bad idea. We could, we could possibly give them the option to do something like that. Yes. Depends how it connects up here. Oh, it's, it's a bit rough. Doesn't that wiggle? That's a horrible wiggle. I don't like that. Yeah, I don't want to move the... I don't want to move those. I'll do that away from the episode. I'll tidy it up. And we'll have the option to scoot into that platform. But uh, we are definitely not done. It's probably messed up our terminals. Uh, has it? Are you both just on two? I think you're both just on two, aren't you? Yes. You're both on two. Well, surely we can have you on 
on this one now, can't we? Is that three then? Which is busier? <laughs> the it doesn't, We don't know, do we? No. So if we put you on three, that should be fine. Well, Palmdale to Montgomery is the busiest, and that goes in the main platform. And the quieter one goes into the, the little branch. Well, I say that. You don't want the busiest one to have to cross under, which we'll put back in in a second. So you, you now go on, on the middle island one. Uh, the, yeah, this one needs to be the busiest. I love it. And you need a way to get across there, which we haven't done. This is just purely for animation's sake. Miscellaneous, where do we want you? One there? Where's the main building? Yeah, you don't want it right in front of the main building. We'll have another one up there as well. And then we'll add some coverings on either side. And we'll leave it. As such, Palmdale is looking a little tidier. I like it. There's a lot going on here that shouldn't be happening. This train is going to have issues, isn't he? Yeah. Oi! Emergency brakes. But that train should not have jumped tracks like it did. So we might have to put a temporary crossing down for it. Just so it can get out. Like that will do. That'll do. That'll do. Right. Yes. Now you go. Uh, we'll get rid of that once he's gone. Because he's supposed to do it up there. This shouldn't happen. This is not how this happens. <laughs> we don't need alternative platforms though, do we? Right, are you about gone? I think you are. Don't delete the wrong thing. We're back to normal. Our trains should be tidy. There we go. There we go. Lovely. Do we like this situation a little better? I mean, we were not using the freight, were we? No, this is much nicer. Oh, I see, I see you. Let's do a little bit of uh, a refresh on your buses. Passenger only. There you go, new fire buses. Fantastic. Away you go. Yeah, that's tidier. That's going to allow our, our traffic to move through here better yeah now we're not waiting for eternity things have been improved a lot what we want to see there we go we're still going up it might dip still it's going to take us a little while to catch up but that is good news i love it yeah i think next episode then we let that run and we finally get to go up to athens and we'll get a better idea then by the time we've gone up to athens what our throughput's going to be. And then we can remove goods from our... Well, we're not going to stop here at all with our uh, big boys. We're just going to hurtle through the station. And we're going to have a, another boxcar service that takes machines down there to drop off to some trucks we don't have set up just yet. But we will. It's very busy now, isn't it? Look at all that. There is a lot of oil. <laughs> We'll have to check on that as well, won't we? Once it's been running. Oh, it's good to see all the buildings going up. I love it. Charts. Yes, please go up. Please go up. Right, do we have a passenger train? Heading over the new bridge. There goes... Is that Big Boy Ben? It is. If that's Big Boy Ben... Yeah, you're off. And how are you doing? You should be loading up pretty rapidly now. You were... Indeed. Yeah, we're well, looking at it. We've got so much plastic and oil waiting for us. It's uh, clockwork. I love clockwork. <laughs> it makes me happy. I, I think our passenger trains have managed to bunch themselves up. Could we get a run? Aha. Got it. All right, guys. We're actually in the cab. Yes, of our passenger train. This is one of the default cameras you can page up and page down to see other ones uh, this is the one I like personally and uh, we're going to get some growl of the engine I like the uh, 
the idling sound when it, we're not accelerating. Does sound good. We're going to stop and pick up some passenger. Are we really taking 114 from... We're going to have to check on Chesapeake. Because that's where we're bringing these from. This is fantastic. We might need longer trains. I'm not against that at all. But yes, yes. We are going to ride this. Uh, hopefully all the way to Palmdale. We'll see how the traffic is. Not Palmdale. That would be weird because we don't go there. To Montgomery. That's better. And then uh, when we come back, we'll we'll set up a bit of a run for our machines heading up to uh, Athens. As well as check on Chesapeake. Yes. Lots to check up on. And by the end of the next episode, I, we should have a better idea of how the whole uh, Phoenix growth thing... Oh, that was cool. I was talking over it, unfortunately. But the, the way the whole Phoenix Grove thing is going, which is looking better. Guys, we're off. So, until next time, take care.